From March 24th to 25th, Airbus held its 2025 summit. The third edition of this annual event, the Airbus Summit, took place in Toulouse, France, where speakers, journalists and industry insiders gathered together to learn more about the company's work to pioneer sustainable aerospace. One big topic was its progress on a new single-aisle aircraft. Sure, the A320neo family will prove reliable and efficient for the next decade or two, but Airbus needs to plan far in advance so that a replacement can be designed built and certified by the time the earliest A320neo family of aircraft are ready for replacement. And while no firm designs have been unveiled, the plane maker offered an overview of the various technologies that are sure to be considered for a future single-aisle aircraft. We take a look at what the company has in mind for today's video. Airbus's official webpage on the topic begins like this. Imagine a new Airbus single-aisle aircraft with wings designed with advanced aerodynamics and biomimicry in mind to generate significantly more lift, reducing fuel consumption and increasing efficiency. Its engines will consume 20% less fuel than current models, making air travel more decarbonized and cost-effective. The company goes on to say that it anticipates a growing role for hybridization and electrification technologies. On the topic of structural composition, Airbus says the aircraft will be built with materials that are lighter yet stronger, allowing for more durable and easier to handle aircraft. In terms of a suitable strength to weight ratio, carbon fiber has been one of the leading materials in aerospace for the past few decades. This type of material makes up about half of the Boeing 787 structure, as well as the structure of the A350. It's the same for the Airbus A220 structure, designed by Bombardier. However, on the A320 family of jets, carbon fiber materials are only used on flaps, ailerons, spoilers, and on the vertical and horizontal tail planes. This leaves some good room for improvement for a future replacement. Airbus says that it believes there is more progress to be made on the materials front, saying, one key pathway for improvement is researching how biomass composites and thermoplastics could replace CFRP, and the progress being targeted is not limited to weight reduction. Airbus is also seeking to make the aircraft manufacturing process both more sustainable by choosing materials that are more easily recyclable and to make it more efficient with less waste and quicker assembly. An example of these kinds of improvements, explains Airbus, is the Multifunctional Fuselage Demonstrator, or MFFD. This project uses carbon fibre reinforced thermoplastic polymer composites, or CFRTP, instead of carbon fibre reinforced polymer, or CFRP. Airbus says that its demonstrator achieved its weight saving target at a neutral cost and also provided greater manufacturing efficiency. The CFRTP is also easier to reuse and recycle than other materials. Airbus's next narrow body will have more efficient, better designed wings. In 2023, the company opened the Wing Technology Development Center in the United Kingdom. At this site, Airbus's Wing of Tomorrow, or WOT, research and technology program has been working to create even better wing designs for the next generation of aircraft. Just like its materials research, Airbus says it's not only focused on performance improvements, but also improvements in manufacturing and assembly technologies. The company states, While technical details are being kept tightly under wraps, some of the possibilities for a new wing have already been publicly disclosed, with the most prominent being a folding wing. This gives the aircraft a longer wingspan in flight, increasing lift and reducing drag, while still making it compatible with airport gates. This is essentially how the Boeing 777X's wings will work. Airbus goes on to discuss propulsion. It says that to take things to the next level, it is investigating the potential of a few promising engine technologies, namely an open fan architecture. Airbus is working with CFM on the Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines, or RISE, open fan engine demonstrator. This aims to reduce fuel consumption and CO2 emissions by 20% compared to today's most efficient single-aisle engines. As we've already known for a while now, Airbus plans to flight test CFM's rise on its A380 flight test aircraft by the end of the decade. 
Not only will the engine architecture be potentially different, but the type of energy may be different as well. In addition to designing aircraft to operate on 100% sustainable aviation fuel, Airbus mentions hybridization as one approach, recapturing energy that would have otherwise been wasted. The company is working on advancing hybrid electric propulsion, which supplements the use of conventional jet fuel, or SAF, with electricity from batteries or fuel cells. This could reduce carbon emissions by up to 5%, the company says. Increased electrification is also on the list with research into integrating lithium-ion batteries on board an aircraft with a high-voltage network. Airbus is exploring the potential of solid-state batteries, which could provide an optimal balance of energy and power output for future aircraft. Such batteries could be used to power aircraft while taxiing on the ground, as well as during flight for onboard functions like the air conditioning system or lighting. And finally, when it comes to Airbus's beloved fly-by-wire technology, the plane maker says that it's not the end of the road for this method of control. Airbus says that it's designing a common digital platform for a future next-generation single-aisle aircraft, which will ensure safer and more efficient operations. Future systems will be highly connected and automated, powered by advanced computer platforms which will allow for automatic installation, updates and modifications of system applications. The company adds that increased processing speeds supported by AI will increase the amount of data that can be securely processed. While technology has done a lot to help with pilot workload and offer more efficient operations, it can be argued that there is still a great deal of room for improvement particularly when it comes to AI competency and reliability. At the same time, many are worried that we are becoming far too dependent on technology and automation, and such dependence can result in catastrophe should an unexpected coding error or bug make its way into the system. But, well, that's ultimately what extensive testing and certification is all about, to put such systems through all sorts of conditions to ensure safe operation in the real world. And so that's everything Airbus discussed for its new single-aisle aircraft with a bit of our own thoughts mixed in. And so to summarise, we can expect a new A320 family replacement to have the following. A new efficient wing design, use of more high-tech materials such as carbon fibre reinforced thermoplastic polymer composites, a new engine, possibly the CFM Rise open fan power plant, able to run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel, possible hybrid electric systems, solid-state batteries on board for non-propulsion-related energy use, folding wingtips, and an even more automated cockpit. What do you think of Airbus's plans for an A320 family replacement? Do you have concerns about any of the technologies it has mentioned? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.